Hey everyone, today we're in the Zhongxiao Fuxing area of Taipei. It's a bit younger and it's the uh, fashion and beauty center of Taipei. So you can shop, you can get your plastic surgery done, get your Botox and all that. They got clothing, you know, beauty creams and you know, all that kind of stuff. There's also a couple of Sogos here. So Sogo is like a big department store. I think they're in Japan and Taiwan. So it's kind of like our Macy's or Bloomingdale's back in the US, that kind of uh, level. We're gonna cruise around and see if we can show you some stuff and we're feeling like something to drink so we'll probably stop off for a little bit of that and yeah, join us. Yeah, so actually earlier in the year we were staying around this area so it was nice you know have a lot of international food and a lot of Japanese food and izakayas and drinking establishments and bars and all that kind of nightlife stuff is uh, over here so the locals would call this area don't you but if you're like a you know expat and tourist it's just kind of like the blue line area uh, so it, the blue line runs parallel to the red line, the MRT line, uh, which is where, you know, Taipei 101 is and Dongmen is. So the blue line is just parallel north of that and it's where you'll find, uh, you know, a little less tourists. Well, now there's none, but, you know, back in the day. <laughs> this area is also good if you want to meet uh, some nice Taiwanese girls. <laughs> there's a lot of young girls shopping, hanging out in this area. So you can meet people. You know how Taipei has a lot of, well, a ton of, you know, drink shops and milk tea and things like that. So there's actually this place up here. Uh, they're a little unique because they do like a green tea grapefruit drink and they use fresh grapefruit. So it actually has the pieces of the fruit in the drink and then it goes with some green tea and it's on ice. It's really, really good. So I think we're going to head over there now. Try not to get hit by cars. What's the name of it? Gui Ji. I don't know what that means, but it's this like very famous tea stand or tea shop. When we went there initially, actually, we didn't know that you had to get like the signature tea and that was the one with the actual grapefruit in there. So we just got a regular tea. It was like kind of whatever. Anita was like, you know, she was instrumental in figuring that out because she's really into this kind of stuff. So once we figured it out, it was kind of, you know, her go-to drink shop. In the Zhongxiao Fuxing area, it's behind the Sogo. So the names of the Sogo, I'm not so, you know, familiar with. I just call it green Sogo and white Sogo because the buildings are green and white. <laughs> so yeah, but it's on the white Sogo side, if that helps. It's all newly redesigned and a lot of people here is chilling out. There's a lot of green space in Taipei, which is actually surprising, but a lot of it is like an older park design. So they're kind of going through and reworking things now. Pretty cool. So there's white Sogo. You got Sogo here and then the park we walk through back there, then behind the park you have a lot of nightlife and bars and zakayas and there's a shisha spot we like and things like that. Anita's waiting for our tea right now. So this whole like Zhongxiao Fuxing Blue Line area is a pretty affluent area I would say. Some of the most expensive restaurants in Taipei, if not on the entire island, are found here. So you know, you got like full-blown omakase sushi, you know, that's a couple hundred dollars US a person. And you know, a lot of those types of very high-end restaurants can be found here. And also Xingyi as well. So between this area, Zhongxiao Fuxing and Xingyi Dan, you're gonna, yeah, that's that's where all the money is. <laughs> so it finally came. We're about 10 minutes away or so, but yeah, this is really good because you got the tea, which is that like astringent, you know, tea flavor. But then it also has that grapefruit, which is kind of like a bitter, sweet, citrusy. It's actually, it's a really, really good combination. Thank you for finding it, Anita. Oh, so good. 
it is not that sweet because we get like like low speed or no speed or I get a, like low speed very very slow so if you don't know a lot of the drink shops in Taipei in Taiwan in general you can always customize your level of sweetness or your quantity of ice you know so if you want super sweet no ice they can do it if you want no sweetness ton of ice they can do it too <laughs> I think it's a good way to go. You don't you don't want to go too sweet. We end up all jacked up. <laughs> We're gonna head over to the Zhongxiao Fuxin Cross Street because that's actually the MRT stop is called Zhongxiao Fuxin, but it's actually two streets. It's like a crossing of the streets. And so there's the green Sogo over there. Which is, I think for most people, it stands out more because it's a giant green building. <laughs> but that's the one I'm most familiar with. And they're also building what looks like, you know, three towers behind it. Um, I'm not sure if they're residential or mixed use or what, but it's always nice to see a new development in Taipei because it doesn't happen very often. I'm just a little worried they're going to look really weird because they're kind of starting to put in the paneling and it's just all oddly geometric. And I don't understand who's doing the city planning or you know like the architecture is just odd it's not very international it's just weird i don't know <laughs> generally speaking you know uh, so everything's fairly close in this area too there's no magic of video editing like we're walking for you know 20 minutes it's literally like a two minute walk between the two sogos and the park and the tea shop and you know your general setup is always like in a shopping center or a mall in Asia, is you'll have like a grocery store, usually like an international grocery store in the basement, and then like a restaurant and food court and things like that. So uh, these two Sogos are no exception, so you can always find what you need for the most part. Okay, so this is Sogo Zhongxiao. We're gonna go. There's, there's actually an interesting thing. They have like a, it's a small world kind of display animation or something it's you gotta see it we'll go check this out first yeah so that was it it's just kind of above the front door there originally i thought you know how can they possibly have that but then I noticed there is like a little Disney plaque next to it, so maybe it's you know licensed and all that. <laughs> but it's pretty funny to see it's a small world. <laughs> so as we walk from this white sogo over there, right behind us is actually the green one. It's a pretty good view. So yeah, right there, boom. And these are the new towers that they're building. It's kind of interesting. So we're gonna head over there. So it seems like mostly the green Sogo has a ton of, you know, international luxury brands. I haven't actually been inside the other Sogo, so I don't really know. We're gonna head down to the food court now and kind of roam around. All right, in the basement, there's a, that supermarket I'm talking about. Yeah. It's different brands, but usually there's always one. All right, so there's all these little, you know, gift pastry shops and chocolate and, you know, all sorts of stuff down here. So the food court is on the basement one. This is basement level two. It's nice to roam in here on a hot day too because they always have air conditioning. Although now it's winter, so it's really not that big of a deal. <laughs> That's the Din Tai Fung mascot. Yeah, so this is your general food court. I mean, it's, it's, it's got mostly local brands and Japanese food and stuff like that, but actually one of the cool things is they have a Songfa Bakute, which is from Singapore. Uh, it's really amazing. Yeah. Yeah, you have to try this. It's pretty good stuff. Okay, we're not hungry now, but you know, we figured we'd show you. <laughs> so that's it. And then all the upper levels are fashion and you know, luxury goods and things like that. Bye. Bye. <laughs>